The 1957, the 58 and the 59 Grange were made literally in secret. Max was prohibited by the then family owned winery from continuing the production of the wine and had to literally do it down here underground. You know, false walls, he hid the bottles, he hid barrels for three full years under the risk obviously of instant dismissal. Look, it's not everybody's wine. It's wine that is so robust and so powerful in the bottle uh, that it sings of its own terroir, sings of its own, every vintage is different. Uh, you have to kind of understand it. I think what it says for Australian wines overseas is it sets a benchmark for quality, premium, big, red Australian wines, which is something that we've become known for, you know, certainly in Europe and America. The renowned uh, critic, Robert Parker, for example, gave it 100 points. Now, that still sells for less than $1,000 a bottle, which sounds obscene. You know, that's an enormous amount of money. But I think one day it will track the same way as the 52, the 53, the 55, and other great renowned Grangers. Well, it ranges from rock stars and from sports stars all over the world. Uh, you know, we have cricket people coming in, you know, in, in summer tours. We have American rock stars visiting the winery. Uh, it ranges from those people who are making collections, who love the sort of the story and the celebrity of it, uh, to mums and dads who want to collect a, a bottle in a certain vintage to give to their children on their 21st birthday. It ranges to young professionals who want to have that because it is the you know it is the celebrity me drink uh, i can afford five hundred dollars for a new bottle of grange The taste of Australian wines is a bit different, um, sometimes um, more fruity than our wines, also red wines. Very nice, but it's a little bit different uh, from the Sangiovese from Italy, um, but um, I have to say um, not bad at all. A lot of people don't realise we make less than 10,000 cases of Grange. And what does that mean? Well, first growths, Chateau Mouton Rothschild, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, Chateau Margaux or Briand, uh, wines of that ilk, 
make in excess of 20,000 cases. So we're talking less than half of that. It is quite a rare commodity. I don't think it's a fashion thing at all. I think, uh, you know, it's been here for 50 years. It's built its reputation over 50 years, and I think you'll see that it'll never go away. Um, sure, there are other things in its, in its wake, but Grange is, you know, it is the thing that people must have. Um, and it's for old blokes as well as for, for young blokes. So, you know, I don't think old blokes get into fashion that much.